Hey, it's me, Ross Matthews from RuPaul's Drag Race, and this is Drag Race FOMO on Logo with this homo. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some of the uh, lip syncs that I wasn't there for. I missed out on seeing these ones live. Of course, I watched them on television, but I never got to critique them, so let's go. Poor Big Bird had to die for her dress, but it's a beautiful color. She looks like Honey Boo Boo in Fort Lauderdale. She looks totally sane there. It's a goldie but a goodie. And she was a, it's some sort of gay tin man challenge. Ooh, ooh. When Rue gives you that look, you, you better have your bags packed, your emotional baggage ready to go. That means you're leaving. Bye. This is the day they served burritos for lunch. That's why everyone's a little puffy. <laughs> Both of them are just really not moving that much. This is the day they serve Xanax at lunch. Contouring on her nose, oh my god. But how many of these are there? <laughs> no one does that better. She looks like she's like tripping. Epic. The wig, the first wig reveal, that is it. And that meme of Michelle, I mean that is her street right there. How'd she even get that thought? You know what I mean? Before, no one ever, it's like Lewis and Clark. They were trailblazers. She's the Lewis and Clark of wig reveals. When those queens do something like that we've never seen before, that's, that's the shit right there. That, if you can figure out how to do something that makes us go, what? That's how you're gonna stick around. But after 11 seasons, it's like, have we seen it all? Stay tuned for season 12. I'm always afraid a queen is gonna break one of those light bulbs. I worry about that and I worry about their ankle. That's what I think about. One of my favorite ginger looks. This is so smart and so fun. These are one of these great one ray looks where it gives you so much material to make fun of, you know, the half and half. Sometimes when they're just like beauty, <laughs> they're so hard to judge and, and make fun of because it's just like, oh, you're pretty, oh, you're prettier, oh, you're pretty. So this is such a fun category to judge. My favorite lip sync in the history of Drag Race is um, coming up, like you haven't seen it yet. Oh! <laughs> See? That, when they come off the runway and jump down, that's what petrifies me so much. This is screwing with my mental timeline. I have to tell you something. I thought I was on this season. <laughs> See, because I think I was sitting on the couch at home talking uh, before they hired me. Because I literally thought I was there. I wasn't there for that. I thought I was there for that. See, she's saying, I'm not going. Oh. <laughs> Beat it, it. So people worry about like, if, if my costume sort of falls apart on the runway, does that ding me with the judges? It, no. I would say if everything's falling apart, you're really working it. So like, don't worry about it. Literally, you could light yourself on fire, but if you know all the words and you wow us, you, um, actually, please don't light yourself on fire. <laughs> We're all flaming enough. I love when they end lip sync for their lives, holding hands. I love it, because it's like sisterhood. This is the one. I can't even watch it, this one's too painful. I thought Valentina was gonna like be, of course, in the final final. Never in my wildest dreams did I think she would go home. I did not, I can't, do I have to relive it? Now this is one of the best lip syncs of all time, right? Shut up and drive. I was here for this. I was here for this one. I knew it! This is why they're all stars. This is why you're, they're here, because they're so good. I call this no fixin's. I got nothing to critique here. One of the best ever. And don't forget to watch the season 12 premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race, February 28th on VH1.